everybody, my name is Ruby and I'm here with two of my dogs and I'll show you around my farm. So this is Thunderboom. She is a daughter out of Lollaboom and she's probably one of my best confirmation baby goats out of 2021. If I can set her up, she might run away. I don't know how she got wet, but she did. So I have to show you here. Okay, so when you look at a doe or a buck, you want to put your fingers to the withers and then they have pin bones right here and you want to make sure they line up and they're very smoothly blended. You can see that this dough is very smoothly blended and very thick right here. And right here, she is super wide. You wanna at least fit three or two fingers, three, three, at the, three or four at the most. And when you check at the back, you want them to have them pretty wide in the back. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And also you want them to have a really nice pygmy goat face, which is, um, they have like a little dip right here. You want them to kind of have a dip right there. It's just something that judges like to see. <laughs> so this is Taffy. Oh, she is super sweet. She is a dark Palomino. She's like a, a chocolate with <clears throat> um, a white mane and tail. Usually these see Palominos, um, Kind of lighter than this. It's kind of unusual, I'd say. This is my favorite goat. Um, she's not the best confirmation goat, but you know, I really like her color and she, she's just my favorite out of the bunch. So these are bucks. Bucks are stinky. Usually people don't have bucks because they pee on themselves and they just make a whole mess of themselves. Uh, this is Keenine, this is Gambler, and Wyatt. So, what goat is best for milking? Right down to what people want and like in a small farm. Nigerians are ideal for a smaller place. Um, they, are, they are big as, they are as big as pygmy goats, but they might be a little taller because they're for milking. When you look at a Nigerian, this is not a Nigerian. We only have pygmy goats and a few other mixed breeds for pets. But when you look at a Nigerian, it's not Nigerian as I said, but when you look at them, they have lots of wrinkles. They say that that's, I, that's a, uh, a dairy thing. I don't know why that is, but judges seem to look at that and say that's a good thing instead of a bad thing. For pygmy goats, you don't really want the dairy skin. Udders are nice because usually judges look at that, but usually they don't because they're pygmy goats and they're not made for milk. They're only made for really meat, and that's about it. Oh, and showing, if you want to put it that way. B. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you.
my name is Ruby and